just got an alert saying that my delivery was delivered. Not the delivery from uh, last week that I ordered, that is lost. The delivery for my um, my TV stand tripod is so cool. Cause it's a tripod, but it's a TV stand at the same time. So I'm gonna go over to the mailbox and get that. And hopefully all is well with that. Before I purchased this, I did a lot of research to make sure that it's something doable for me, that I can, you know, do by myself without any help. Because I'm not about that, like, putting furniture together. <laughs> okay, I don't want to break it. And it, like, adjusts the different screw sizes. I'm telling you, growing up with a grandfather, I learned so much. Because if it wasn't for my grandfather, I probably would never even know, like, what screws to buy, how to even screw stuff in. Just watching him growing up really helped. I'm sure he always thought stuff that I never paid attention, but I did. This came out so cute. And the adjustments are made on the back here. So if you want to adjust the screen and lift it up to the side, anything. And here on the side, this came out really nice. I can't stop saying that. So go purchase a TV tripod. You can even use this for your monitors as well. If you work from home and you have to do like a presentation, this would be good as well. So nice. So I finally got that package that was originally missing. I got an alert and then I went over to my mailbox and it was there. So I'm happy for that. So I'm on my way to my dermatologist appointment in Haverford outside of Philadelphia. And I'm trying to make time, but this traffic is crazy. I'm 36 minutes away. I've been doing so well so far on the highway. This morning I woke up literally at 3.30 and I got ready, I did my voodoo and then I prayed. And then I went back to sleep. That's what caught me, because I went back to sleep. I didn't even work out today. And that, that means you know that I was rushing. So anyways, I went back to sleep. And then, by the time I got up, it was time for me to like take a shower and get ready and just go. I didn't even like, did I drink something? I did drink. I drank some beets and some water, that's it. But hopefully I'll make it to my appointment on time because if I don't, then they'll probably try to reschedule. And I drove, already drove all the way up here. So hopefully that doesn't happen. And then I'm meeting Brian at my um, dermatologist appointment. Because um, we're going to do some work. We have some errands and I still have to do work. So we're just going to do work together. And thank God he was available last minute for me. Well, he always comes through for me, which is a blessing. I just don't understand why we're going so slow, people. Come on. I'm so close. I cannot be late for this appointment. Of course, the street that I have to turn down is blacked off by the police. And I have to find another way. But I should be able to go up the street and around, I think. It's all good. I'll figure it out. Hey Brian, it's me. Um, you know what? I just thought about it. I have we have to go that way anyway, so I'm just gonna pick you up, okay? Yeah, I have the address, but I'm at my dermatologist for purpose meeting, so yeah. Is that okay? Yeah, of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. Be ready. What were you gonna wait for? No. I'm 
show you my license. <laughs> so you know. Yeah, I know how I drive. Sir, your license and registration. Man. I'm so tired. I woke up at three something and I like prayed and stuff. Sure. But then I went back to sleep. I'm so tired. And I gotta come back on Monday, but that's okay. Oh so my license. Know. Yeah, so you know, you man, I know how I drive. Well, just because you're a relation doesn't mean you know how to drive. I got my license. I didn't know how to drive. For real? Yeah, I just started crying. At, I told you that at the road test. Mm -hmm. Okay, you ready to rock and roll? Uh, what's this, push start? Oh, can go yeah. check the P.O. Box, box. And then go to the Islamic store. I have a driver today. <laughs> Put your seatbelt on. All this lovely mail That's that I have to go through. Thank God you're the driver today. Yeah. Our errands. Look at my eyes. I'm so tired. So we're done with our errands. So now we're about to go eat and then I can get back on the highway and get out of here. Yeah, get out of here. <laughs> what a day. Oh yeah. my God. Definitely was a long day. Yeah, but a productive day. Yeah, it was. Long but productive. I can't wait to eat. We're waiting to get something to eat. Oh my God, this wait is so long. <laughs> yeah. we went to the first one, they said 30. We went to this one. But the <laughs> first place, the first restaurant we went to, they didn't even, even call or text me. So we would have still just been waiting there. Yeah, we have just been waiting there all day. Oh God. I was thinking that I would be home by now or on the highway. Yeah. Back home, yeah. What time is it? Time for me to go home and go to bed. You go to bed early. It's 6 39. Hopefully they call us soon. Yeah. I'm hungry. Yeah, but I guess we just have to be patient. I know. Look at it. Doesn't even have good light. My it looks so foggy. Oh yeah. Well, thank you. Our our purpose family. <laughs> <laughs> see you later. Good beard. All right. Thank you. Okay. See you later. See so you. I'll call you um in a couple days. That's cool. Thank you so much for helping me. The best. Yeah. Thank you too. Yeah. It is one. 40 in the morning and I'm just not getting home. A little earlier I said I did not want to get home this late, but I'm just grateful that I got home safely so now I can just get ready and go to bed.